Behold, the bikini. But where did it come from? Meet Louis Reard, born in France in 1897. Louis Reard wasn't your typical auto engineer. In the 1940s, he began running his mother's lingerie business. When he wasn't at work, Louis strolled the beaches of Saint-Tropez to take in the latest fashions. Scanty swimwear dates back to ancient Rome and beyond, but by the 1940s, swimsuits were usually conservative, one-piece affairs. And they always covered the navel. As Louis watched women rolling up their bathing suits to get a tan, inspiration struck. Why should a woman on the beach wear so much clothing to swim, especially when she needed exposed skin to tan? Louis immediately went to work on the world's smallest swimsuit, which he made with only 30 inches of fabric. But he wasn't the only inventor shaking up swimwear. A French inventor named Jacques Ooh, yeah. Heim had also created a skimpy two-piece swimsuit. Heim's suit was similar to Louis's, with one crucial difference. It covered the navel. This nod to conventional styles would ultimately be Heim's undoing. Hmm? It seems Louis predicted the controversy that an exposed navel would cause. The bikini was a success in Europe, and by the 1960s, it was also popular in the United States. Nowadays, it's a common sight at beaches around the world, and those ankle-to-neck one-pieces are, for better or for worse, largely a thing of the past.